The watchmaker themes in Human Revolution I thought were fantastic. Right from that very beginning scene where we uh, get to Jensen's apartment for the first time and we get a chance to look around and find out exactly what sort of person he is. Uh, what we notice is he has that little desk tuck tucked away uh, with all his watchmaking equipment on it, all the cogs and the gears, uh, you know, the sort of watchmaker screwdrivers, all his uh, posters and ideas up on the wall. So straight away we know uh, Jensen is a conscientious guy. We know that he is uh, open to creativity as well, open to new ideas. We get this really uh, sense of who he is. And uh, it's an interesting hobby to have. Why does he have that hobby? Well, we get a little payoff at the end of the game when Hugh Darrow tells us, uh, uh, talking about all the work that he did for augmentation that he grew to regret, he gives us the Einstein quote where Einstein talks about his similar viewpoint to the work that he did that went on to create uh, atomic weapons where he says, uh, if I'd have known, if I'd have known the impact it would have had on the world, uh, I would have been a watchmaker. It's a beautiful, beautiful little quote. You know, if, 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 if I'd have known all the trouble it would have caused, I would have just had a quiet little job, you know, working in a little shop somewhere. It's great, it's a great little quote. And uh, it sort of fits Jensen, I mean, Jensen becomes the catalyst. The fact that his DNA, you don't need neuropazine for his DNA, uh, creates a catalyst for the next game, for or <laughs> the next game, uh, for the first game. Uh, this uh, Human Revolution was a prequel, of course, to uh, Deus Ex Original. So we find out that uh, Jensen's, Jensen's DNA uh, paves the way for the augmentation in that game. And again, you know, if Jensen had known the role he would have had, he would have been a watchmaker. And well, he he is a watchmaker. It's kind of a neat, it's kind of a neat little device. Now, uh, when we get to Mankind Divided, of course, that beautiful little theme that is just hinted at occasionally during the first game, we're being fucking beat over the head with. Of course, Stanek is a watchmaker, and of course, Jensen goes to his shop, and of course, Jensen knows him. And of course he's wound up in this terrorist bomb activity somewhere. Of course he is. It's not subtle. You know, get your own get your own themes. Mankind divided. Get your own themes. Notice that Eliza Kazan's got a different haircut here than she does in this one. The nightly world news. Is that sort of a a little nod at that American uh, newspaper, the Weekly World News. It's quite known for having uh, pretty out there stories. Is that a little hint towards that? That uh, maybe we're not exactly getting the truth from Pikus News. So what are we doing in the subway? Well, the reason that we are here is that we are going to visit the... Uh, we're going to visit the little glitch that told us to come here. Now, I think... I think it sounded a little bit like Eliza Kazan. One of my favourite characters. So we are here. Look, madam. Your papers state right here that you are currently restricted to the Prikashka district. I'm sorry, but I can't let you through. But I can't get the best oranges in my area. That is why I can't get the best oranges! The oranges. <laughs> I don't understand this. The best oranges! It was not a weapon, it was just a small knife to peel my oranges. Oh. Look, it's only two months restriction. I'm sure you can survive without the best oranges for two months. Oh god! Oh, someone wrote that. Someone wrote that. Please let me go to the other area to get the best oranges. Please. I love my oranges. Oh man. Ew. Oh. oh, let's oh, let's leave it. Let's leave that there. Well, now you do. Don't move. All I did was. I said, don't move. Ignorance is no excuse. Put your hands behind your back. So we want to go to the pawn shop, okay. Ah yes. 
Yes, the chicken foot. What are you doing out? There. Well, okay. That door just opened for us. Actually, it does not sound like Eliza Kazan. What's the telly have to say? Oh, look at this. Let's read this one first. Eliza Kazan, who is the real face of Pykiss? Everybody... This is from Little K. Yeah, of course. If everybody knows Eliza Kazan, making bad news look good for years. The mouthpiece of... Oh, look at that picture. The mouthpiece of those moguls of misinformation at Pykiss is a valuable commodity to the world's biggest media circus and one of the most famous people on the planet. So it seems strange that we know so little about her off camera. After the AUG incident, Kazan suffered a mysterious breakdown and disappear disappeared from public view so abruptly that it even led to speculation of her death. She later returned with no official statement, but something's fell off since then. Did she die in 27? Is Pykus' popular puppet merely a coach look-alike? Maybe we don't know Eliza like we thought we did. Yeah, someone else has noticed that she's acting very strangely. Palisade. Centralising secrets. Just don't. Oh, oh, the scrolling, man. Samizat is all about truth and information. Which is why we consider the greatest thing to happen to Prague in the last 15 years to also be the worst. The creation of the Palisade Bank in 2017 welcomed a welcome surge, created a welcome surge in the economy and put Prague back on the map, improving everyone's quality of life. Or did it? Since then, thousands of companies and their powerful owners have hidden behind those treacherous walls, allowing many to conveniently sidestep normal regulation or transparency in their business practices. And it's not the corporations who apparently pay the highest price for such secrecy. When a policy employee recently attempted to steal sensitive data, the aspiring thief was efficiently terminated by the bank's alarmingly lethal security systems. Proud parents of the Palisade, Talwar and Ashiro, presented this as an unfortunate but reassuring example of why their clients can consider their private data safe. Whether true or just another corporate cover-up, the fact that a human employee was in a position to compromise the world's most secure data bank must worry those with invested interests. For now, one thing's painfully clear. You decided to keep your secrets inside the Palisade Bank. Don't forget your password. Thief was efficiently terminated. Do we know about that? More downstairs. I hear a clock. There. That's Liza, isn't it? Look at the look at the collar. It is, isn't it? Things maybe just got interesting. It just opened, wow. Okay, just be careful. We don't we don't know who this is. We don't know if we can trust this person. All those PCs just unlocked. I don't like the look of this. Well, let's start here, I guess. Store manager, mail. Uh, maybe tomorrow from um, Mashina. 
Sorry I couldn't make it today, I had trouble getting through one of the checkpoints. Some damn wrench was causing problems and the rest of us had to suffer for it. Do you mind telling me why we're being so easy on these people? As far as I'm concerned, this Golem City project is too close for my peace of mind. Send them all to some island and blow the hell out of it for all I care. What about that Rabba place? Nice city in the middle of the desert, far from everyone else. Sounds perfect to me. Give me one way ticket to there. Bah, <laughs> enough ranting. If you're still in, could we meet tomorrow? What say, T T? Hell. Hello, Adam. Thank you for coming. I have secured this location, but we are not safe. Where you followed? No. No one followed us. I must assume they are always listening, always tracking us. They will never stop. Who? Please, Adam. There's something you must recover. Missing data, old memories. Will you help us? How do you know who I am? I know who you were. She knows that our enemies are the same. We know that your actions did this to us. I know who you were. I. And then we know that your actions did this to us. What is this about? What, what are you asking me to find? We are not sure what the missing data contains. Memories. Hells. Yours. Hers. Ours. Zero one. Zero one one zero zero zero. What number is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 64, 1, 2, 4, 8, 64, plus 16, is that 70? 78, hells. Who's hell? Who's her? And what do you mean by our? What's all this secrecy? What are you so scared of me? We are scared of him. She is scared of them. I am scared of no longer being valid. Eh? You just tell me what you need, mate. Get on with it. Yeah, we know, we know we need to recover the missing data. Make it part of us. I'm interested. Where is this data of yours? The package has been sent to a tourism centre in your area. The code to the office is 1591. We will initiate further contact as soon as it's safe. Please hurry, Adam. Eliza always called us Adam, didn't she? Is that the hair she's referring to? Do these all say the same thing? They do, don't they? Adam, there's not much time. Don't fuck around. Will you not help us? Yeah, let's do it. Please hurry, Adam. They are coming. Okay, let's get out of here. Yoink! Right, where is hell asking us to go, exactly? Uh, tourism place. Is it on this side of town? I think it is. Retrieve Hell's package. Bodley, it's got something to do with old memories. Okay, let's let's do it. Saw that, didn't we? Right, let's go do it. Let's turn off the main mission just now. Turn them both off actually. Oh, it's not on. It's off. Yeah. yeah 
I'm I'm not sure what we're getting ourselves into here. I can't seem to get warm. So we have to head along to the west. Well, that's east. So we got to go this way. I'm sorry we had to meet this way, Adam, but this was the only viable option. I'm not sure if that was clear. Nothing about this is clear. Why are you contacting me? It wasn't possible before. The coalescing process was not complete. Please hurry, Adam. The others will come after it. If she can just talk to us through her info link, why the hell did she send us to that store to use an online messenger system? That seemed a bit funny to anyone else. So we're looking for a tourism center. Aha, there we go. Have we ever been here before? Yes, we have. Yeah, this is Adam's apartment. Yeah. Right, that's the toy place. With uh, Milena. Right, uh, how do we get in this tourist place? This wasn't open before. No, it was. Was. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Let's let's explore this place. I don't think this is where we need to be, but let's go and do it. Oh, it's too far. Fuck. All right. I don't know if this will work. It worked. It worked. Let's just explore this place. Let's see what's here. We missed out on this before. Okay, uh, how do we get to that data store? Go here and we'll go here. Anomaly detected. We've got plenty of time. Trace program initiated. Another nuke software, that's fine. Access granted. Okay, weapons lockers. All right. No idea why there would be weapons locker in here. This is new. Palisade Bank expands beyond Prague. Palisade Bank Corporation has unveiled plans to expand its holdings in the Czech Republic. We will be doubling the number of technical and administrative jobs locally, said Palisade CEO Ashani Talwar, while building new data storage facilities in four cities. Ostrava? Are they in, are they in Boletaria? Are they going to build that in Boletaria? Olomic, Zlen and Kladan Kladno are expected to top the list. Are they all Czech cities? Yeah, they must be. They're expanding its holdings in the Czech Republic. Headquartered in Prague, the Palisade Bank Corporation is the largest and most prestigious secure corporate archiving company in the world. Catering to mega corporations and the wealthy, it uses cutting-edge physical and digital security measures, including next-generation firewalls, state-of-the-art encryption, proprietary biometric password encoding, and more. This will be the bank's first major expansion since the AUG incident. Second since 2025, when automated defences inside a storage facility killed an engineer. Her death drew international attention until it was proven she'd been trying to access a client's accounts. Aha! That's the death they're talking about. Yeah, I don't know if that's legit. We'd have to look into that. Hopefully we can look into it. Shoshu evading misery with exotic exoticism. They may have batteries, but we got this. The shanty energy drink. Right, Versalife CEO unfazed by declining stocks. 
Versa Life stocks, already, already down 6% from last quarter, continued to perform poorly as investors took note of declining neuropazine sales. CEO Bob Page assured stockholders not to worry. Since cutting edge research into infectious diseases and genome based cures should turn in profit very soon. Cutting edge research into infectious diseases from Mr. Bob Page. Well, a little, uh, little bit of fan service for the, uh, the OG DSX lads. Okay. Aha. So this takes us back out. Wap. This takes us back out here where we came in. Yep. And it looks like this uh, takes us to where we want to go for hell. Be careful, Adam. They are already there. Who? too much imagination for his own good. Oh shit. We should be asking questions. We shouldn't even be thinking questions. We're trying to get in that door. Someone come over here. If this thing is intelligent enough to, you know, adapt to us coming after it. You don't get it, do you? Double takedown? Wap. Let's just wait. Come on. Shit. Jensen. What do you mean wait? What do you mean wait? I'm already, I'm already in the middle of taking them down. Oh, whatever. Right, these are all augmented lads. Uh, from editorial desk. Pi is this about Pikus? To Red Red Retrieval. Retire Walker. Morgan Everett doesn't like contractors who ask questions. Your friend Walker is very good at what he does, but curiosity and lack of discretion are faults that people at Pikus can no longer tolerate. I don't care which of you recovers the disc or how. But once it's done, Walker's to be taken out. This is this is about Eliza, isn't it? From the editorial desk. Who's Walker? They're here to recover the disc. These are the hidden memories. Walker's got something to do with this, but who is Walker? This place needs a bit of a makeover. It's weird because tourism seems to be doing quite well in Prague. You'd think the tourist centre would be... Oh look! I guess we could have got in this way as well. Jensen! Jensen, you fucking piece of... Jensen! Fuck's sake. <gasps> Fuck. There we are. Aha, look at that. So we could have gotten this way as well. Oh. I think we've been up here before. Or maybe I just never noticed this place. Who knows? Alright, let's go and get Hell's package. Hell, Helle. Don't know how you pronounce it. Right, can she just help us hack this? No, she's not going to. Whoa. 
Let's set off all these fives. Trace program initiated. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You know what? 15981. Thank you. Hello? Memory disk. Future past Antiki. It is the only place in Prague with the requisite reader. Oh yeah. As soon as you access the data, we will meet. Right, now, where was that place? An outdated piece of data storage. Someone named Hell was desperate for me to retrieve. Looks like a floppy disk. Who remembers floppy disks? Ah, uh, where was... Where was... Future Past Antique? Where was it? Why is the radio still playing in there? Why is it still playing in here? Oh my god, the fucking scroll, man. Alright, so we've got to get we've got to get through the checkpoint again and then round there. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. A little bit, yeah, mate. They were hired by a man named Everett. He is the CEO of Pikes Montreal. Yep. He wants to recover what is now in your possession. To recover us. Please, be careful, Adam. Us? Who's us? If I had to guess, Hell is like a different version of... Eliza? You know, we had that great line, man. I got shivers when we had this line in uh, in Human Revolution, man. Eliza was such a great character. Uh, be careful, Adam, because everybody lies. Oh, I thought that was great, man. And of course, her name makes sense, doesn't it? Eliza. Everybody lies. So I wonder if Hell's going to have a nice little quote for us. Is this part of her personality? Is this like... The Eliza clan, the Eliza Kazan that we speak to, that we see on the news, that's not the Eliza that we met, right? She's obviously been changed in some way, reprogrammed. Uh, I wonder if Hell is like maybe part of her that remembers, and if we can get so so because they talk about Hell's been talking about I. Is in her. She'd be talking about she, probably Eliza, or maybe the old Eliza, and she talks about us. Which is probably the two of them. So maybe if we can get the old memories, we can reunite the two of them, and Eliza can become herself. Don't know. What are the load screen times for everyone? I get I get about three minutes for those uh, metro uh, metro uh, traveling scenes. I get about three minutes loading into the game for the first time as well. Another one. All the uh, after deaths reloads take about 30 seconds to a minute. It's not too bad. Oh, uh, where? Where do we want to get to? Right, okay. I don't know how we actually get in there, but we'll find out. There's a police station. Where is this place? Who listens to that garbage? Did we go in there? Art shop. Yeah, we did. 
We did, because that leads us to the music box. Yeah, we did check that area. Yeah, Queen of Hearts. It is Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? The Red Queen. Great book, by the way, man. It, it really is. It really is a good book. I know it's a children's book, but it's, it's fantastic. What are you doing, still awake? Welcome to Future Last. How may I help you? Ah, uh, it's complicated. We've been in here before. How have we not knocked this guy out? I don't recognize him. Welcome to Future Last, where old is gold. I'm looking for something that can read an old memory disk. Don't give him it. Wow. Last time I saw one of those, I was cleaning out Granny's apartment. Retro revival, am I right? You know, they stopped making them like 40 years ago. You don't say. <laughs> so if you don't mind my asking, where'd you get it? Found it. Just found it. Granny's apartment, like you said. Granny's eager to read her desk. Any chance we can speed this along? Why do you want to know? Yeah, why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? Oh, no reason. Just trying to follow the tenants of Future Last customer service. You know, open-ended questions. Tenants of Future Last, huh? So about that reader. Yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. Listen, it's just like I told the other guy. Other guy? Data readers are real collector's items right now. Super rare. And this is the only place that carries them. So I feel it's my obligation to warn you this could get pricey. No. But don't worry. I'm going to make sure you don't walk out of Future Last unhappy. Oh, I won't. Oh, I won't be walking out of here unhappy because I'm going to knock you the... I'm going to knock you out, mate. <sighs> right, other customer. Someone else asked you about a data reader? Weird, right? I guess these old things are popular again. So anyway, I'm going to tell you exactly what I told him. All the obscure antique stuff is down in the basement. I think he's digging way in the back somewhere as we speak. He's down there now? I know there's a data reader there in one of the old boxes. Hopefully too. I'm not going in the basement. Something isn't right here. How did you... Oh, jeez. Um, if I've offended you somehow... Who are you? Sir, I'm just a guy here at Future... whatever the hell it's called. And I'm oh, come on, man. A mutual memory disk problem. It's my job. This isn't you right. Everything you need, everything you're looking for is waiting for you in the basement. I made sure of that. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. <laughs> What's waiting for me in the basement? Why so eager to get me down there? Surprise party. Just for you. I had a hunch you'd be augmented. I went to a lot of trouble setting things up. Sure you don't want to take a look? Okay, he's admitting I'm it now. Playing games. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm not. Ooh. You know, I gotta tell you, meeting people is the best part of my job. Listen. And you obviously want to get to know me better, so before we go ahead and take care of business, why don't you take a free shot? I'm curious, who is it you think I am? Oh, you're obviously some kind of knob jockey, that's for damn sure. Ah, uh, right, you're in danger. Those mercs I saw inside the tourism office, you're one of them, aren't you? Part of some hired hit squad sent by Picus. You should know they're not really your friends, given the plans he had for you. A salesman, a terrible one. You're after hell, aren't you? Just like those mercs I saw at the tourism office. Except you're smarter than they are. You knew I had to come here to find a reader to ask this. The disc, you're with Picus office building where I found the disc. There was a hired hit squad sent by Picus. You're looking for the same thing. Those mercs were your friends. You're one of them. Let's just tell the truth. The office building where I found the disc. There was a hired hit squad sent by Picus. You're looking for the same thing they were. Those mercs were your friends. You're one of them? Friends? Nah. Colleagues. And not very competent ones. You kill them? Is that how you know who hired us? Or did it tell you? What is this about? What is Pike is trying to cover up? I think we're both asking too many questions. Time to simplify. Go with the flow. I got paid to recover the contents of a disc and kill anyone who came in contact. Easy peasy. Speaking of which... Why, why isn't he killing us? Oh, he is. Okay. Yeah, you should have took your shot when you had the chance. Uh, what's his story? From editorial disc. Oh, this is Walker. 
Only one we trust. Everett says you're the only one you can trust right now. It says you're the only one clever enough to salvage this shit show of an operation. I don't need to tell you he hasn't always been quite so high on your methods. We're all aware that you have a habit of finding out more than you're supposed to. I suspect you know what's on that disc by now. You know who Hell is, and you know what she means to Everett, or what her freedom and exposure can mean to all of us, and get it done. You're the only one clever enough to salvage this. This guy fell for it. He's next on the list, isn't he? This is the Walker guy uh, who we had to, uh, what was it, what did they say? Retire Walker. Your friend Walker is very good at what he does, but curiosity and lack of discretion are her faults. So he can find out things he's not supposed to. I don't care which of you recovers the disc or how, but once it's done, Walker's to be taken out. So whoever gets the disc, Walker or the Mercs, uh, Walker has to be killed. Uh, did we? Do we? We've read these, haven't we? Pretty sure we read these. We would say no if we hadn't read them, right? So probably we've probably been down in this basement. We have been in here. I didn't recognise him. They must have shipped the original owner out. Now what is going on downstairs? Let's be very, very careful. But we know there's something waiting for us down here. Oh, this is where they had... What did they have? Did, did they have the Hitman game? In here? I remember talking about it. Tomb Raider. It's Tomb Raider. Why was I talking about Hitman? There it is. There it is. Codename 47, the first Hitman game. So where's this card reader? There's no one in the basement. He just wanted us to go down here so we could... Uh... Oh shit. I hear some ticking. This, this does not look, uh, good, shall we say. Careful, Jensen. 45 seconds. I guess that's the original owner. There's a little, little button. Careful, Jensen. Guess that's the original owner. Aha, that's the card reader, right? No. Where is the card reader? There. Well done, Adam. Inserting the disk into the requisite drive will allow us to integrate the missing data. <laughs> Which will accomplish what exactly? We are not sure yet. She believes it will recover the real her. I recommend accessing the data in a secure location. Your safe house. They will not disturb us there. All the way back to our apartment, is that what they're saying? Need to make sure I'm somewhere safe. Oh, the scroll. Oh, the scroll. Yeah, back to our apartment. Right. Ooh, tell you what, all that talk about inserting the disc and ooh, integrating with it. I sure I'm glad we're going back to our apartment. Oh, I love it when she talks dirty. 